Oh boy, I can't remember the last time we played this, but since the last time we played this, there's been a major update. Or should I say, a regular update. We're now playing the version 1.4.2 version of the game, and there has been a big update, which would have came through on March 29th. So, just last week. So, as a brief overview of what's going to be new to the game, we now have some new uh, cut-in art for... Kokoro, Junko, and Sanai. I'm looking at it right now in the patch notes and it looks pretty good. And maybe I'll edit it in, in post if you haven't seen it. Because the odds of us getting it on today's run will be relatively low. There's supposedly a new 3D rotation effect when hovering over cards and some graphical issues have been done. Uh, there should be some new art for some cards, some cards that I have seen. So let's take a look at that real quick. Disintegrating Winds. This has new art, apparently. Huh. I don't remember what the old art looked like, but here's this is the art we have now. Lunatic Dream. That's a Lumatic. My bad. That's some new art. Oh, which style? Interesting. button up here for that one. Okay. Got some new art for Ori's son. Okay, that's the old art. Here's the new art. Okay. So some of the arts that are unfinished are now finally getting their final versions. That's really nice to see, actually. Just want to see a lot of these. What else we got new art for? Short break. My keyboard's in an awkward place because it's behind my mic, so it's going to affect my already piss poor typing speed. There we go. Short break. I like that art. This is the old art. It says sketch. Horai's Sea of Trees. Interesting. Ah, this was the old art. Yeah, we use this spell quite a bit. This is one of my favorite spells in the game. That is much prettier compared to the sketch. This game is getting closer and closer to complete. Maybe by version 1.5 we'll have Koishi in the game. She's the only character who's not playable yet. <laughs> Alright, Dubious T. Who is that? Is that supposed to be Marissa? Interesting. Player gained three life and three poison, apply 12. This is a cool card. I like this card. It's very interesting. Lunacy. Yep, that's the clown piece card. This is the old art. Here's our new art. I kind of like the, the sketch art, but this is technically more refined. I just like the close-up better. Let's see. Letty. Ooh, that is a lot cuter than it was before. But we can actually see... Nice little sprite. It also seems to line up more with how all the other friend cards look. I believe Mei Ling's uh, friend card has also been updated as well. Three Gods of Sumiyoshi. Why are we updating that? 
Oh. Interesting. I'll still take the shit post art, though. Thank you very much. Alright, finished card art. Clock Corpse. So that's the sketch. Here's the final version. That is much more refined. Mei Ling. One of my favorite characters. She looks so silly in this art. I kind of hate the whole stigmata that Mei Ling has to suffer from. She's not that lazy. She's pretty good at her job. You just gotta understand what she has to put up with. Also, she's one of the cards that's been reworked. Apparently upgrading her no longer reduces the cost to hold. Star Showering Starlight. Starts finished. Oh, that's cute. I almost never get copies of Star, though. Lunar Rabbit Incense. Interesting. So this is... Ooh, we have new alternate arts. The Falling Moon Rabbit. Alright, what's the new alt art? Oh yeah! That's what I want to see more of. Yes! The Reclusive Sage. Yeah! There we go. Give me that shit posty art. I love it. I love it so much. The True Full Moon. I have never played this card. Because this card scares me. I cannot think of a situation where this card would be nice to have. For that mana cost. Flame. Yeah! Angui Moku. Wait, is she holding a wine glass? She's holding a wine glass. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why. They're all holding wine glasses, actually. I just realized. I have the, the art on my other screen. I'm showing it for you all. But, uh, they're all holding wine glasses. They're all holding wine glasses. <laughs> we're Gatsbying it up in this game now. Is this the universe where just everybody loves wine? Or maybe, maybe that's blood. Or juice. Who knows? Who knows? Let's see. Tale of the Bamboo Cutter. We got this on a previous run. It's one of the most ridiculous cards in the game. And one glass. Yeah, welcome to the club. <laughs> uh, they're all starting to seem a little samey, but I appreciate the meme. And filthless world. Alrighty, get ready. Is it wine glasses? Yeah. High society types. <laughs> Alright. Community contribution. Spring is here and silver elegance. So this is the weird derpy art. Oh. Huh. So this is the new community art. Let's get back to the community. What else we got? Silver Elegance. We play that card, actually. Interesting. I love the shit posty art. 
That's pretty cool. She's throwing knives through each of the other playable characters. Put the community art on for that one. The one... It's beautiful. Devour history. We have some new cards. And hopefully we'll get to see what they do. I think it's funny that if I type up their name, they show up, even if I don't know what it is. That's kind of funny. Alright. So, Revive the Saint has been replaced with Marble. So, this is just the Revive the Saint card. So, apparently they've replaced it with this card. Odds are we'll get that in the playthrough at some point. And Grimoire Study has been reworked. Let's look, what does Grimoire Study do now? Lose two life, add four random cards to the hand, temporarily cost zero, and have Exile and Ethereal. That's kind of nutty. I mean, it is a rare card. I guess that makes sense. Receive Guidance, can now exile a card in exchange for ability cards exiled, increase the maximum life. Don Maku notes, base version unlocked. Base version block increased from 10 to 12. Mailing, Neglect the Gatekeeper's passive skill now activates at the start of player's turn. I thought it was so weird that it only activated at the end. It just works better at the start. Our upgrade no longer affects the cost of our ultimate skill. Best friend cost removed from green to zero. The day the sea split now allows for choosing which cards in the hand should be shuffled to the draw pile. Upgrade adds retain and mana gain. Added detail text for important interactions in certain cards. Added flavor text for a certain number of cards. I wish they told me which ones. I'd read it all right now. Fixed a rare bug with peak perfection. And gameplay stuff. Alright, we have some new standard enemies. Divine Spirits, Spirit of Elegance, Spirit of Wealth, Disguised Tanuki, and Encounters in Act 2 and 3 have been adjusted. Uh, Terminator Drones have had their down damage output reduced. Thank you. Thank you so much. Those guys are bullshit. Amulet on Drones has been replaced with a new status effect, Household Appliance. I guess we'll see what that does when we run into some drones. Apex Speedster, that's what the, the Tengu does, if I remember correctly, where they attack you whenever you play your first card. Uh, Apex Speedster now states whether it's been activated or triggered already. And Drowning from the Drowned Girl now wears off if she is defeated, similar to the Fox Charm. Alright, and that is the patch notes. With all said and done... There's new yellow and red cards, so we're going to do a Rainbow Run. And hopefully try to get a hold of those new cards. Is there any achievements that I want to try and get for Rainbow? We could try for a perfect resolution. Might be a bit hard. It's going to make this stream a little bit on the shorter side if I do, though. Crystal Quarry. I mean, we can make another attempt at Crystal Quarry. There's new cards. Alright, another qu Crystal Quarry attempt run. This time, Reibu. Um, we'll play red. I don't want to play on Lunatic. All right, this is just an achievement run, so we're going to make our attempt on normal. Come on, Crystal Quarry. How many times have we attempted to get the Crystal Quarry achievement and failed? Help you as much as I can, Reimu. Feel free to take anything you need. Money. Random exhibit. I really like this.
After four or more mana is spent to play a card, gain Rainbow at the start of Rainbow's next turn. Okay. I would have much rather had the Yin Yang Orb, personally. But we're on a standard run, so I don't really need it. Ancient Matagama. Life is nice. Life is good. Alright, let's resolve this incident. Right, we haven't picked yet. Okay, um... Let's just keep fighting elites. We ain't got money. Already taking damage. That spells well for our run later. We need to start getting some four mana spells so that we can make use of our Matagama. Come on. Die already, please. Please don't get too much block. Eh, that's not too much. Just need an attack card. That'll do. Yokai Buster is such a good card. Alright. Ooh! Free fly. I mean, we're gonna be casting a lot of colored spells, so getting more rainbow mana seems ideal. Five, six, eleven. Let's hit you first. take a hit here. It's not gonna hurt too much. They gave us weak. Let's get rid of your buff so that next turn we can possibly kill both of you. 20 damage is within our ability to do. Damas are down. Ascension kick. Keyboard solo. I think Ascension kick is probably the best here. We, we, we need the temporary firepower. Our deck's not big enough to need draw power just yet. Money. Lucky day. Lucky white rabbit. Give some money. We'll split it. And elite time. Oh, it's you. I really want it. Alright. That's 14 damage for two mana. That's 10 damage. That's 5 damage. All right, we're a quarter of the way done. Unfortunately, that's a lot of damage coming my way. Okay. 
Okay. Let's do this. And just try to mitigate. No attacks this turn that I can't block. So we'll just take the six. gonna hurt. Really gonna hurt. I wonder if putting weak on Rin would have caused her explosions to make them weaker. I don't think it does, which is why I didn't try that. Six damage. Managed to get our maximum damage hand there for thirty. Start of the player's turn each combat. Discard any number, then draw that many. We have a mulligan. That's gonna help. New Year visit. Choose one of three attacker defense cards and the hand. Gain two firepower or two spirit. Kind of want that. So we have red and yellow. So we want who does not have green and blue. So Cherno would be the one to fight. Out of the bamboo forest. All right. Let's see, let's see. We don't have a lot of money, so it's time to go to the gap. Oh, now that's a good use of my money right there. Yeah, sure. All right. It's the yin yang orbs. Shouldn't you guys be working for me? Nine damage coming out this turn, right? So let's just discard everything that's not a block spell. Five times two and nine. That is a really nasty thing. Give me a good block spell, please. That would be amazing if that was a kill here. All right. All right. Let's lower your damage. have killed you this turn, but I think it's mitigating more just to block. Taking five instead of nine that way. Didn't need to block this turn. But we could spread our damage around. 
let the reflection kill you. Now we just gotta burn through you. And we're gonna slowly chip you down. Sixteen. I could have optimized that a little bit better. Oh well. We're taking an excessive amount of damage that I don't need to be taking. Draw three, upgrade three. Seems good. And since we got a card that upgrades, we can afford to gain life this time. Alrighty, we don't have AoE damage. Oh, this is gonna suck. You guys attacking in your first turn? Only you. Let's do it like that. Oh, look at that new 3D effect. Ooh. 10 damage two times is quite weak. junk in my discord pile. Ugh, gross. It's 22 damage coming out. That really sucks. Take my lumps here. All right. And then there were two. I'm just filling my deck with junk. You're the problem. We need to kill Sunny first. Because they're going to do most of the damage through filling our deck with crap. Oh, that sucks. Another turn of status cards. Mitigate damage where we can. Now we have spirit. Who's got spirit? Yes, we do. We've got spirit. Yada yada you. This off earlier would have been much better. We still have these refracted sunlights.
This was a long and arduous battle. <coughs> but we got there in the end. We didn't die, but boy did it feel like we did. Whenever the player plays a card that has the same color as the last card they played, gain one temporary firepower. Man, well, that's not going to be good on this run. We're going to be playing so many different color cards. I think getting a free defense card will be very beneficial. All right. High-tech glasses, secret cloak. Oh, that's a good card. All right. All the rabbits are on vacation and none of them will take my calls. All right, let's do a double fight and then the gap. Good defense card, please. That's a good defense card. Basically, have a free turn to bluff. through. Have some firepower now. Eleven times two, huh? Take that. Yeah, eat all that zero damage. Twenty-four damage, please. Nine damage three times is pretty good. We need to start upgrading our guards. I can't even cast this, technically. But it's too good to pass up. Falling Moon Rabbit. We still have no AoE damage. Nine, 14, 20 damage. good block card for this fight, especially when we can cast it for free. Six, six, five. Seventeen damage coming out. Oh, that sucks. Really annoying. 
thing. I think we can kill you in the back. And kill you in the back. You're attacking next turn. Uh, 11, 6, 9. That's pretty reasonable. They still have their block buffs. safe this turn. He has so much firepower boost. Boy, are we hurt. Hard to believe that we're playing on standard, huh? I think we can beat Aya at least. This is a free setup turn. We have an extra mana to play with. This should be easy. Let's put a good defense card in here. Reflection is really useful. that'll get around her grays. Alright, we're chipping away. 16 damage. Take your shitty newspaper back. We got the firepower buff from the stupid bass drum <laughs> from throwing those. Nine times two. Zero mana up. 
upgraded. We'll take the 16. We did so well of avoiding it up till now. What the hell are these? Lose two spirit. No. times two. This doesn't have accurate. And the reflection gets you. Utility to Dallas. Great. Not useful. This is probably useful because we have so many firepower cards. Alrighty. Cherno time. Steal a jewel branch. What's a jewel branch? Six times three, eh? I don't need that. Reflection, please. This actually might come in handy. For when we get those uh, time freezes later. Down to the last 100. Now we got the frost armor and a 24 damage attack coming. That sucks. Taking nine here. Do 
gonna cast this here. I think we can pay off and get a good thing here. Pretty good block spell. Kind of sad and annoying. I need more offense. into the time freeze. This is annoying. We're making negative progress now. Oh, no. Now we got the knives to deal with. times three plus six. Buster. Come on. Forty-two. We're cutting this close. Twelve. So eighteen damage coming in. Sucks. Reflection will have to do. Twenty six damage coming out. We are cutting it as close as we can. on turn 17. 15. Can I do 15? 18 damage.
we got there. That was the longest fight I've ever had against Cherno. Get another rainbow. Fairy Branch. We have green mana in Cherno cards now. Wing Beats. Cool. The Immortal Flame! <laughs> Which I can technically cast. We don't have a larva. So we'll grab the Immortal Flame. Go down and fight another elite. Drowned girl. And find enough opening hand. This seems like a fair trade. We're just kind of doing the meme here. Six extra firepower. Pony Spirit Bomb. Edge of Fantasy. Call on friends. It's a meme card that we love it. Alright, drones. Let's see what their new ability does. Household, excuse me, household appliance. Immune to weak and vulnerable. Oh. Interesting. They can be debuffed now, though. Seven times two. Oh, I hate confirm. Okay. damage.
I really wish we had some more healing. Hmm. Harry's about teammate is summon, gain. We don't really have teammates to summon. But hey, an accurate card. I appreciate those. Patchy. Sure, I'll take some rainbow mana. We're not using a lot of this yellow stuff. Got a lot of double reds, though. We have a triple yellow card now that I think about it. But hey, we got a bunch of rainbows. Makes everything easier to cast. We haven't been upgrading cards, though. Seven, twelve, nineteen, twenty-four damage coming out. Let's get rid of you. I thought I'll think about it. Of damage. It's 21, How about no? Call on friends. I need a block card. At least we have flawless this turn. So many debuffs. Power spell on turn one. so much. Well, we're below half health, so we're going to heal four. the Letty machine gun. So the Sunny machine gun.
We are kind of dead. That was not worth it. We have 14 health. Start of combat. Player's first turn to your graves. Nice. We're gonna at least live to see our second turn. I asked for life gain. Rinosuke, what are you gonna buy off me? The blink dagger, the tengu fan? Don't we need that? <laughs> No, you, I'm keeping all of these. Alright. We need to hit a gap. Alright. Artificial jewelry. Ah, it's bats. It's a lot of damage already. Six, twelve, sixteen. Something good, please. That's going to help us out a lot. We have the two greys as well. We need to kill a bat as soon as possible. one play I could have done that would have been better. I think we can bullshit our way out of this. Firepower up. I'm gonna kill you. Which gets us to this phase here. This off. We 
do 14 through. Got to get all our block cards here. That's a lot of block cards. And we win. Six HP. Oh, we can get a sunny. Two grays, temporary firepower. You know what? I'll take it. We need the grays. We have upgraded zero cards in this run. On guard. Hi, Yomo. I don't need you that early. We're just going to count on poison to win. times three. Is it accurate? Cannot be grazed.
Probably should have cast this to gain the life. Um. That could be really good. But I like the growth cards. The growth cards are pretty cool. Ultramarine Orb Elixir. We get an extra chance. Fox Mask. Place three attack cards, gain a spirit. I mean... A second chance can't hurt. Oh, and it's Tenshi. We are dead. More drones. Times two, huh? Something good, please. Another yokai buster. Sun's on. Pulp Fiction. Put one card from the bottom on each turn's brief history. Drop pile can now be viewed in its actual order. Cool. Sure. You take the deposit. Drink tea. We're at half health. Nate Tori. That's good for us.
crazy. This is so annoying. I wonder if I could just heal up to max by just stalling it out. Let's see if I can shovel through and get my heal skull card again. We have a decent amount of health for once versus a boss that I hate and I call it the run ender. This is probably the end of the video. <laughs> All right. Or hear me out. We can snowball faster than she can. We're just dead. We have none of our block cards. We've lost half of our life already. She's about to give herself flawless, huh? barrier already. I'm gonna save this for the late game. Fourteen times two, huh? I 
that builds up. She'll eventually just remove the poison on her. 15 times 3. So close. Would have been nice to have you. in this turn, so we don't want to do that. Built up so much firepower from stalling so long from that turn one Moku. 16 times 2. Gain flawless for a turn. We got there. Nutty. So, black mana. Defeat enemies no longer drop power. Now we get money. Not the item we wanted. Summon three fairies of light, add one to your hand, and then shuffle the others into the draw pile. That seems fucking funny. I love it. I'm gonna get to buy a rare card. Pro Tengu. Apex Speedster, huh? running through my veins. All right. Thank you. 
that's pretty good. Look at all that money we're gonna get. Oh god, so much money. star. Twenty block ten P. It's the only way to get P right now. These all suck. Getting a rainbow in the hand is probably helpful, though. Um, what mana do we not have? We don't have blue mana. Alright. Get a rare exhibit. Oh, look, it's these two. Definitely gonna drop a little half health here. That's 
sucks. Start of the player's first turn, get a tipsy. Neat. And we draw if we ever empty handed. Oh! Suicamoria? Oh! That's the new enemy! Next debuff. Gain one max life. This character is disguised. Raymond's doing a random card in the hand is jinxed and made useless. It was originally Star Showering Starlight. now. We have AoE damage now, built into our kit, somewhere. I 
think we'll get through this turn. Or not. Oh boy. I think we're dead. We had a good run. So dead. It's lunatic time. We die. We had a crazy run, though. We came really close. There was a pretty decent... There was a, maybe a chance. Like a 1 in 5... 3 in 5 chance that we could have gotten the achievement, too. Oh, well. Another Crystal Quarry run. Another bust. This time, just because... <laughs> We just didn't really have the right draws and the right setup. We took a lot of damage where we didn't need to. We had almost no opportunities to upgrade our cards. We have zero upgraded cards in our deck, outside of stuff that we luckily got upgraded for you. This was a very tough run. It's a snowball rolling downhill, but in this case, the snowball was the enemies. One of the problems I do seem to have with just the nature of how a run can kind of just be ruined by taking a decent chunk of damage early on, because then you basically have to recover that health, and then by not powering up your cards, you're just taking more damage later on, and then eventually you never get over the hill, and then it just kind of slippery slopes your way to defeat. Because as you saw there, we were never at a position where we were able to upgrade at Yukari's Gap, which just lent that our deck was kind of underpowered. We had a lot of good cards in it, but we had to spend so much effort just staying alive that if, our, if we had half as many cards upgraded as we did through the 
in any other run, we pro that probably would have been an easy victory. I mean, just having Free Fly upgraded alone would have saved us three mana every single time we cast it. Or two mana every time we cast it, because it would have been a one drop, instead of having to be a three drop. And it would have made our colors and turns much more efficient. I don't think I don't think grabbing New Year's visit really helped us all that much either. We almost stopped casting it later on because we were so tight for mana on certain turns. Well, it was nice to play this game again. I look forward to the next update. Hopefully, we don't have to wait as long for another update because I believe we haven't gotten an update since January before this. I'm not a big fan of playing early access titles. In the future, I do plan to play more of this, but we might start limiting it to either episodes where it's a, where it's a fan request, guest episodes, or when there's a major update. And that's probably going to be the future of this game on this channel. If you want to see more of this, let me know. The best way to do that would be to put in a request on the, the Discord. I do enjoy playing this game. And I do love seeing it is the progress that's being made, even as slow as it is. I actually hope that the final product of this game would have been released by around September of this year. So hopefully they'll hit that deadline. But I don't think they are at the pace they're going. We might hit 1.5 by September is my guess. Because I would hate for this to be a early access forever title. But hey, maybe if I can put enough of a spotlight on the game, and maybe if you guys can draw enough to the attention to them, the developers on Twitter, or maybe even just use the hashtag. I put Lost Branch of Legend as a hashtag in all the YouTube videos. There's not enough people using it. Get that trending. Maybe we can get this game out sooner. Get some sort of sponsor to maybe donate towards the finished project. But I've done all I can do. I would like to keep playing, but for the most part, I'm pressed for time and I have other stuff that I want to do. We still need to do the... I still need to finish my Sea of Thieves story mode streams. Shadowverse is going to continue to get updated until July. We'll be hopefully finishing the story of that by July. Um, Genshin Impact is having has an update every five weeks, roughly about the same for Honkai Star Rail. And there's a lot of other games that we haven't played on a long time in the channel, like Guild of Dungeoneering or Darkest Dungeon, as well as a lot of the other content where I do like rating videos, tier videos, reviews, reactions. All that content. If you want to know what I'm going to be doing and where I'm going to be doing it, the Discord is the way to go. So until next time, bye-bye.